Hey guys, welcome to another video and uh, today I will be explaining to you uh, something that I found really weird in uh, Mel Bay's modern guitar method and not weird in a bad way. This is quite fascinating actually. Uh, you end up playing chords which are already uh, notes stacked up on top of each other but it doesn't specify the name of the chord and it, you, you don't actually end up naming the chord until much later in the book. Uh, now I have two of these books. Uh, I have the Mel Bay's Modern Guitar Method Grade 1, the expanded edition which is a paperback. And I have the Mel Bay's Modern Guitar Method Grade 2 which is uh, spirally bound. Now I want to explain to you one thing which you will find really really fascinating. Here's Mel Bay's Modern Guitar Method Grade 1, the expanded edition. And uh, in this book you will end up playing uh, chords and etudes and pieces in the key of C major, A minor, G major and E minor. So you, you end up playing in keys up to one sharp. Okay. Now in this whole book you will play mostly chords which are like one, four, five of each key. So if you're playing in the key of C major you end up playing uh, chords like C major, F major say a G major or a G7 now there is no mention of the D major chord in this guitar method grade 1 now I'm going to go to page number 76 all right so just take a look at this page number 76 not 76 it's actually page number 77 pardon me now this piece is called Austrian hymn all right it's by a classical composer called Hayden and if you look at this piece very carefully let me zoom in oh god the zoom in problem okay so here we are zoomed in now this is bar number one two three four five six seven okay now just take a look at bar number seven and eight the that's the part for guitar two okay bars number seven and bar number eight now just take a look at these chords so the notes are e so i'm talking about this chord so the notes are e g c sharp and e now this chord is a rootless voicing it's actually an a dominant seventh chord without the root note a in it and the same goes for this chord as well, it's the same chord. Now take a look at this chord. This chord here, what are the notes? The notes are D, A, D, F sharp. Okay, because this uh, is in the key of F sharp. So this chord here has an F sharp note right on top. So the notes are D, A, D, F sharp so if you look at the fingerings you are going to play this D note open then you will play this uh, note A on the second fret of the G string then you will play this note D on the third fret of the B string and then you will play this F sharp on the second fret of the high E string now what chord is that that's a D major chord and nowhere in this book in Mel Bay's guitar method grade 1 will you find uh, the D major chord that's mentioned so you actually are playing the chord even before you know what it's named and I find this really really fascinating now is Mel Bay's guitar method grade 2 the expanded edition now grade 2 is higher than grade 1 obviously and now I am on page number 54 all right page 54 introduces the key of D major right it introduces the D major scale and then it introduces the chords in the key of D major primarily the 1, 4 and the 5 chord so you see the D major chord over here this is in grade 2 but you already know how to play this chord in grade 1 but it's just that it's not named so I find this really fascinating that you can play the D major chord in grade 1 but you don't know what it is named up until you know the you're more than halfway through into grade two 
and this I find kind of weird. 